Hello, Mega BJJ here. I have an episode working in my garage shop. I have a gi business, and a uh, well, one man one man gi business is pretty cool. I really enjoy it. And I'm gonna patch a gi. Right now, I'm uh, fast forwarding through ironing a gi uh, patch on the gi pants. You have to press it down for about 45 seconds to a minute to get it to adhere on a high heat. Should be good. These are ripstop pants. They're 10 ounce fabric. It's a pretty thick. And I'm gonna use my TDU N62. It's a walking foot, it's an industrial machine. Right now I'm just arranging the fabric so I don't accidentally sew it to itself. And I am lowering the presser foot down and I'm going to engage the foot pedal, oh, make sure it's turned on, and then I'll start walking it to get it going. And then through the movie magic, we're done. We won't bore you with all the monotonous sewing. It goes slow, just to make sure I can get all the stitches in the right spots around the edge of the patch. A top, I uh, snip the top thread and then I snip the bottom thread and I move those sh little snippers to the side so I don't accidentally drop them on my, on my foot. Those things are razor sharp. I'm speaking from experience, don't do it. All right, I'm just checking the patch now, make sure the stitches look good and trimming any excess threads, making sure that everything is intact. All right, so it looks like some patches here. This, this pair of pants already had two other patches on them. Now they got a big old Braza patch. I'm gonna go ahead and fold them up for him, for this uh, customer here. Uh, fold out in the gusset, that is called a gusset. And then we're gonna fold up the bottom of the pants and fold up again. Nice smooth mount, take the uh, straw strings, stick them there. Alrighty, pants are done, good, nice, moving on. Now we're gonna do the jacket, and we gotta put this brazza patch on the jacket. Oh, maybe we should put it on the uh, right lapel. No, 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 we gotta go on the left lapel. Left, left lapel looks better, we got the ninja, the octopus, and the brazza. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, okay, let's not, let's, maybe let's try the back. Maybe it didn't look as good, let's, let's go back. We can go to the back, right in the middle of the top. Mm, yeah, yeah, back, yeah, the back's where it's at. We should do the back. Maybe on the back of the shoulder. I see some people doing that. No, let's go back in the middle. Mm, no, I would see, I eventually was like, no. I went with the front side. Um, I spent a lot of time deciding where I was going to put that patch, but, you know, that's life in the gi biz, you know? Finding out where to stick patches. So, uh, anyways, I did, the, I did the ironing high heat uh, for a minute. Pressed it down. Now I'm pulling some thread through the needle so it doesn't unthread itself as I start it. Uh, for you sewers out there, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, make sure the feed dogs aren't gripping the fabric inappropriately. Look into it, feed dogs. And then, then I'm going, uh, got the press foot down, starting backwards, forwards, uh, to get the stitch going so it locks it in place. Moving the shears, because those things are razor sharp, because they're dangerous, and start going. Now I'm sewing. Hey, check them out. We're going now. All right, movie magic, and we're done. Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and finish the stitches up. I go around each of the uh, patches twice to make sure they don't come out. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a vigorous, rough sport, people yanking and pulling on you, and so you need extra stitching on those embroideries or uh, patches. So again, uh, just pulling the threads out, uh, any cutting off any excess that I don't need, making sure that everything looks good, and let's go ahead and get this jacket looking, making sure it looks good. Yep, looks good. All right, let's get it all folded up. Alrighty. And I like to fold it to the back into the half and I fold the sleeve down and then I'll do the same thing to the other side, fold the sleeve down and then I will try to firm up these creases here. But that patch is super stiff though, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but don't worry, it'll it'll loosen up, it'll soften up over time with abuse. So but right now it's super stiff, it's okay, it's a quality patch. Alright, we're gonna fold up the jacket similarly the way we folded up the pants and then now I gotta put the gi jack and the pants in a bag together. This is my favorite part. Shoving these things in a bag. Come on bag. Let's go. Come on. Get in there. Alright. Got in there. 
I, I like this part too. Squish it down, the air comes out. Uh, that always feels good. I should probably get in a box. 